Hello everybody, my name is Jack and welcome back. Welcome back to my channel Genius Speaking. You know the format? In this channel you will learn Italian language for free. In the last episode I made a bunch of exercises to test your skills in Italian language. Mostly for what concerns the logical analysis of Italian sentences, so how to spot the various logical parts composing Italian sentences as such as subjects, predicate, you can encounter while speaking Italian like a genius. But whatever, don't worry, I left you with the first part I decided to cut in half the video and offering you this very second part. In this second part I will add more exercises, juicy exercises to test your skills. Oh. La città di Firenze è bellissima. The city, la città, is the subject. Then we must spot the predicate. It is easy. Is. È. The verb to be is the predicate. How. Beautiful. Bellissima. So, verb to be plus an adjective is nominal predicate. Pretty straightforward. We are missing one only complement of Florence. What is it? Yes, the complements of the nomination, because with a proper name specifies a characteristic of a subject when the subject is a common name. Another example could be the name of Mario is very common in Italy. Il nome Mario è molto comune in Italia. The subject is the name. The name is verb to be how common so again we have subjects constituted by a common name a predicate made by the verb to be and what yes a nominal predicate made by an adjective very common but if you look closely we have not one but two complements. The first one is Mario. Mario is a proper name which specifies better the common name, the common name that precedes Mario. So it is complement of denomination, of course. But something is missing. There is another complement in Italy. How do we classify that complement? Come on, what? Yes, exactly. Complement of place. It is very common that a complement of place it is introduced by the preposition in. Because in is. I can explain. It's simply put thing in a place. More specifically, we have be in a place. Stato in luogo. There are different kinds of complement of place. Carl had dinner at home. Carl ha cenato a casa. Carl is the subject. Had is the predicate. What? Dinner, that object. But at home is the complement of being a place. Where the action has been performed? At home, in a place. Stato, in luogo. Jack travels to Milan every day. Jack viaggia a Milano ogni giorno. We have here a combo of compliments. Compliments of place to Milan and also another kind of compliments. To Milan is compliment of place because it describes where the action takes Jack. But it is a motion to a place. Moto a luogo. 
because Jack goes from point A to point B. And we have a second complement, a complement of time, every day, ogni giorno. I brought you this combo of complements of place and complement of time because often in sentences you want to position actions both in space and time. We describe an action of a motion but we collocate in the timeline by also describing when that happened. Another example could be the following. Juliet comes from Rome this Thursday. Juliet viene da Roma questo giovedì. Juliet comes from Rome is motion from a place. Moto da luogo. And after when that will happen this Thursday. Questo giovedì. I pass through the city downtown. Sono passato attraverso il centro città. Attraverso, through, is a typical preposition that introduces the complement of motion through place. Moto attraverso un luogo. When the action brings the subject to travel through a specific place, we have complements of motion through a place. And also, time complements can be continuative or definite. Definite so far, because we collocated the action in a spot in the timeline. So the action happens, happened or will happen in a specific point of the timeline. But what happens when the action happens on a wider time window, we use con we use continuative time complements. Sam traveled from Tokyo for 12 hours. Sam ha viaggiato da Tokyo per 12 ore. In this case, we have complements of motion from a place from Tokyo bonded to a temporal complements. But in this case, it describes the length of the action. So when the action goes on for a long time, we use a continuative time complement, often introduced by the preposition for, per. So, ladies and gentlemen, class is dismissed. I hope you enjoyed this very video. If that happened, please hit the like button and subscribe. It means a lot to support my work, but most importantly to give you more Italian language lessons for free. Stay tuned for more content coming. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna spoiler anything about the next lessons. So follow the channel, watch the previous lessons to be more proficient in Italian language or just if you are a little bit more curious of tasting my very lessons. In the meantime, speak like a genius. Yeah. Bye.